Here are the baby mantis that Butch brought. We're trying to feed Zonk. So. And Butch has put the fruit fly in. Okay. That's a lot, Zonk. All right, so the fruit flies, once they start waking up, Zonk will notice them. Wanted to do a update on the mantis that we're taking care of. So right in front of me here is actually all their individual containers. And just to give you a brief history, we started off by ordering an Uthika, which is the egg sac. And it was delivered to Butch, and Butch actually raised them and segregated them. They're actually quite friendly, and you can take them out of the container and they won't really run that far. I'm going to show you guys what the mantis actually eat. These are some fruit flies and we have an old apple core that's basically sitting in there. They get attracted to it. These are our fruit fly traps. We do have an old apple core. We started using a banana peel and some vinegar, but actually that was quite stinky and messy. And now we're using the old apple cores and they seem to be working. So you might be asking yourself what happens when we're ready to harvest the fruit flies. We put the cap on and then we throw this jar into the fridge and then we wait until they get the I guess put into cryo sleep, so to speak. And then you can put them on the paper and feed them individually. But right now I've actually ordered some crickets. These are, I think, a thousand pinheads. So we're gonna be transferring the crickets into this little container full of dog food. Hopefully they'll survive. So let's slowly feed these guys. There you go, how lucky was that? Wait, zooming in. Look at this guy, he is double fisting the crickets. Let's open up. Tilda, Tilda, are you holding two crickets? Yep, it's official, Tilda is holding two crickets. Making quick work of the first one. See, is that a leg that she's gnawing on? Cricket struggling. Sorry, I'm shaking. Yummy. I wanted to do a quick update on my mantis also. So Butch ended up bringing the oldest mantis here. And these guys have actually mated already. So we are ready to let them go. So as you can see, this one actually has an egg, Uthika. It's an Uthika right there and we're gonna be saving the Uthikas and letting the parents go. This guy is one of the bigger guys and we have quite a few more in the containers beside me. Quite sad that I have to let them go, but they do deserve a life outside these plastic containers. This is the female. So female mantis are actually way bigger than the male mantis. But yes, time to let them go because we have three Uthikas and the Uthikas give us anywhere from 20 to 50 children each. Time for you to be free, my friends. All right, climb up. You can do it. There's one. Here's the other. So we'll leave him there and we'll pick a separate tree. Be free. Thank you for giving us babies. And the third one, we are gonna put up in these branches. And there you have it, we have let three mantis go already.
So I have put four other mantis here and we're gonna go to the tower farm and let them go. Alright. Who's first? You're free. We'll put two mantis here on this tree, which is in the perimeter of the farm. <laughs> we'll put one guy a little higher up. There you go. Hope your wing develops properly. So we'll let the others go here in the crawling vines. This is our string beans which often gets attacked by stink bugs. So one guy there. Come on, climb up properly. Yep, there you go. Your wings just started developing. This is always the entertaining part when you're feeding these guys. It's when they eat. Even though the cricket was a bit bigger, doesn't matter when they're hungry, they will eat. You can see the cricket still moving his legs, but no chance. Normally they do bite in between the neck and the head. It paralyzes their victim, but allows them to keep eating. We are disturbing him. Going for the foot. Boom. Foot has been devoured. Eating the leg. Look at him go. Yummy. Hey guys, so I was ready to finish editing the mantis video, but guess what? We have some baby mantis in the house. This Ustika just really sprung this morning because last night I was checking in on them and I have not seen anything yet. We do have another container which also gave birth. I actually had to let some of the mantis go because I don't know if I can take care of everyone because right now if I count everything there are a lot in here. I did put some crickets inside but I don't think they can eat it just yet so I might have to catch some fruit flies to feed them. Let me zoom in so I can show you how tiny and uh, you can see how tiny they are. Look at them all on the tissue floor. And up the sticks. In this container we have some banana peels and we have caught a ton of fruit flies. Now we're gonna throw this in the freezer real quick as I was saying and put them into sleep mode and then begin to feed the mantis, the baby mantis at least. Roughly eight minutes in the fridge. And they're all sleeping on the corner. Oh. The fruit flies are beginning to wake up and crawl around. Pretty soon they'll be flying. 
This is so cute. So he has a fruit fly. Look how big the fruit fly is compared to him. But he's making quick work of it. So it's this type of characters that we're going to see develop into really big mantis because they're very voracious. Unlike some of the other guys, they take so long for them to catch. He's even carrying it up the branch. How cool is that? So we have our first victim and our first uh, manti to get fed. I think this guy is eating too. On the more baby freshly hatched ones, no one is eating just yet. So quite concerned what they're surviving on. When they're babies, mantis really don't eat their own kind just yet. It takes a few weeks before they realize they're predators and they can eat anything that they can grab. So right now they're still all loving brothers, sisters and hanging out together but we can keep them together just for a few days until we start needing to have to separate them because of their predator instincts kicking in. This is live right now. They are still coming out of the Uthika. This is interesting, so crazy that we're getting to film and share this experience if I can stay in focus. And this is happening at a very, very small level. These guys are, I would say, geez, one fourth inch. Okay guys, we're gonna end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed another unique vlog about the praying mantis and these guys are so cool and I love having them as pets but it's time to let most of them go. Now, interesting fun fact, these are the cousins of the cockroaches but I hate cockroaches but I love these guys. Anyway, if you guys again are wondering why I have praying mantis as pets, these guys are predator insects which means they eat other insects so if I have pests and stuff I'm hoping that they will help regulate the pests as well that's why we are trying to populate the farm with more praying mantises although we have some wild praying mantises here already these guys are actually a bit small for my liking we will be ordering the bigger guys later on but for now we're gonna let most of them go so that they can enjoy some piece of nature hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I'll see you guys again in the next video bye